What if a church, what if a church said, yeah, that's great. Pretty weddings are someone else's business. We've decided to make beautiful marriages ours. And what if a church realized, what, what, what if a church realized that, yeah, typically in, in a church, our approach to marriage is we want to rescue marriages that are in crisis. What, what if we still did that work? Because that's vital work. That's important work. You can't not do that work. But what if you just had a little shift? And, and, and in addition to trying to rescue marriages that are in crisis, what if we resource marriages that are stable or marriages that are even thriving? And so that we did less ministry of crisis uh, management and more ministry of crisis prevention. Because I don't know if you know this or not, Good Shepherd, but the best time to work on your marriage is when you don't need to. And when you don't need to. And that's when you continue to work on it. That's when you will have this glorious union of two unalike creatures, male and female, he created them. Two unalike creatures who in their union give this glorious display of the love that God has for his church. That's when you work on your marriage. And, and is, isn't it true? Isn't that so much better than, well, I, I just, I just want to be happy. No, marriage is not some kind of ball and chain. It's a platform. It's a pedestal from which you can display and declare God's love. Because the stakes, the stakes are high. 